Good evening and welcome to Narsus Talk Live. I'm Pallab Ghosh with you. Today, Trinamool held a press conference after an extensive meeting in Kaligat and they came up with these salient features. I will just read the salient features for you. One, the, the Shurakha Kabuch will be their prime uh, feature. They will talk about the acceptance in Bengal and outside Bengal with voters. Akhilesh Yadav, Samajwadi Party President, will be in the city and both Trinamool Supremo Mamta Banerjee and Akhilesh Yadav will hold a press conference. Maybe they will hold a press conference jointly after the uh, meeting. They will be, Trinamool will be going to people with 11 years of work by Mamta Banerjee, her projects, her schemes, etc. And of course, the propaganda against BJP, which they find the only negative energy in Bengal. Now, my first question is, why only Didi Shurakha Kabuch today, Mr. Shudhi Bondopadhyay, the veteran MP, who addressed the press conference? Why not Didi Ke Bolo? Why not Shobhu Shati? Why not Shastu Shati? Why not Didi's Dut? Didi's Dut, of course, the emissary of Didi fell flat on the face value because wherever Trinamool MPs, MLAs, councillors, members are going across villages, districts, within the city, they are being heckled, manhandled and they are being told to go back, get out of the place. And when at some places, some of these big superstars are telling them to behave and telling them don't dare to talk to us like this. The electorates are rightly telling them don't dare to talk to us like this. It is we who have brought you. We won't bring you back. Forget about Didi's dream to become Prime Minister in 2024. We won't bring you back in the next assembly elections. In many places, veteran MPs have to run from the place. One more thing that I am trying to come into terms after this press conference is Mr. Bondopadha has said that they will be going to people with 11 years of Didi's work project schemes. Why? If people had brought back Mamta Banerjee in power last year, then that means people have voted her to power on the basis of her work, her developmental work, of course, which Trinamool claims. Does that mean that Trinamool had rigged the elections? Sound vocal, sound blunt, but sorry, that is what I can't help it. That is what is coming to my mind because if a party enjoys power and it claims that it had done immense work for the people, then why Trinamool in 2023, month of March, end of March literally, is planning to go to people with 11 years of uh, projects and developmental work. Why people are to be told? People don't know. Electorates are fools. Perhaps because they thought people in Tripura, Meghalaya are fools. Of course, Goa. Because whenever Trinamool went to these pole bound, bound states, they came back and said that, oh, come on. Elections are ours. We will win the election. People love us. People showed them the mirror. People in Northeast told them to get out of this state. And the worst, the most shameful is Murshidabad, where it lost the vote, that too, in a Muslim dominated area. Muslim dominated area where Mamta Banerjee had always, always claimed that she is the most favoured, most lovable. But unfortunately, it could be because of the recent controversy. But it's fact that people in Muslim dominated areas have started disliking Trinamoon. 
Well, another uh, important uh, issue that I want to discuss from this press conference is, of course, it said that they will be protesting against the uh, price rise in diesel and petrol. Wonderful. It had broken the alliance uh, in 2013-14 when it was in power with uh, the um, Congress government and it broke the alliance on the basis of uh, <coughs> price rise. But why Mamta Banerjee government did nothing against the uh, CESC or Sanjeev Goenka? Sanjeev Goenka had increased power tariff to an exorbitant rates. And this he did when he purchased the football team. People were finding it very difficult to pay their regular electricity bills. But Mamta Banerjee and Trinamool didn't even utter a word. If you think I am lying, please scroll down and you will see a a CSC video which I did when I was in Kolkata. So these are some of the points that I want to discuss but before ending today's <coughs> video I just want to once again harp on the same topic why Shuraka Kaguch, why not other schemes like DD2, DDK Bolo, Shobut Shati, Shasto Shati why are they not on the list? Because they have fallen flat on the face value. And before ending, of course, Shastu Shati card, the health card. Talk to any doctors in private hospitals and you will come to know the truth about the Shastu Shati card. I am not going into details. Find it for yourself. And of course, going to people with 11 years of schemes and projects. This is something <clears throat> that I am trying to come into terms. In my 30 years of journalistic career, the common practices when we go to a press conference or we listen to a press conference, we try to put bits and pieces, relate to the past developments, relate to the past uh, uh, speeches, past announcements of the party. But in the past, Trinamool always said that people are happy, people are related, people are simply uh, overjoyed to bring Trinamool into power because of the development, because of the work. Then why, standing in the end of the March in 2023, Trinamul suddenly says they need to go to people, talk to people and apprise them of what Didi had done. I leave you with this thought for today. Trinamul needs to apprise people what Didi had done. Isn't enough to explain the acceptance of Trinamul within Bengal, forget about other states? I think this explains everything. I leave you with this for today. We shall definitely discuss other topics, other issues. Goodbye, good night.